So my name is Mike Esser. I work here for Pima BCT, and I'm here to talk to you about NCCER certification and why you may want it. NCCER is the it's short for the National Center for Construction, Education, and Research. Uh, NCCER created the curriculum that we use here. They wrote the textbooks. And they're also the largest organization in the country that offers credentials certifying that students and employees are qualified to work in various construction trades. NCCER started on the East Coast, but they're rapidly expanding throughout the country. Right now in Tucson, large employers like TEP and Southwest Gas do require NCCER certification of people applying for their jobs. But as more and more large companies seek these certifications, it's very possible that smaller companies in Arizona will also start looking for them. Right now, Pima is not requiring that you get this certification because it does cost a small amount of money. But we do want to make sure that our students have the best preparation possible for employment by at least offering these national industry leading credentials to our students. So what does NCCER cost you? In short, $35 gets you started. The partnership between Pima and Tucson Electric Power pays for the vast majority of costs, but there is a small charge to you. $35 covers your permanent registration and the two levels of the curricula, including the core curriculum and either electrical one, HVAC one, plumbing one, carpentry one, etc. For future levels like electrical two and plumbing two, you'll need to pay an additional $25 per level. So how can you get the certification? Well, first you'll need to register with NCCER. Then you pass all the hands-on performance tasks in the modules in our curriculum. And finally, you must pass a multiple choice assessment for each module. The multiple choice test is very similar to the review questions that you take in each module. They're typically 15 to 25 questions, and the test is either pass or fail, with a 70% or greater being a pass. If you ever receive less than a 70%, you can retake the test after you step through some additional hoops. Understand that these scores will never affect your PEMA grade. In fact, nothing about the certification process affects your PEMA grade. It's purely an additional certification you can get if you want to, and which may very well help you in your future. Also, you can test at your convenience when you're ready, as you do with all of our curriculum. So, you've decided you want to get NCCER credentials. How do you get started? Well, the first thing you want to do, and you might want to do it immediately after watching this video, is talk to our lab techs. They can get you an invoice that you take over to the Pima cashier to pay your $35 to get registered. Just bring the receipt back to the lab techs and they'll get you put into NCCER system. It takes a couple weeks of processing before you can begin testing. But when you're ready to take your first module test, just let our lab techs know that you're ready and they'll get you started on the test. Once you've passed, again within a few weeks, you can actually log into NCCER's national registry online and you or potential employers can see that you are qualified, certified in that module. Once you've completed an entire level of certification, like say electrical level one, you'll receive a wallet card you can actually carry around with you and which you can show employer, employers to prove that you are qualified by NCCER certifications, the leading industry certifications for the construction industry in the country. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions, you can ask me, Mike Esser, or your lab techs.